The Indonesia stock market is situated in Jakarta. It was originally known as the Jakarta Stock Exchange (JSX), but after combining with the Surabaya Stock Exchange in 2007, it was renamed. The Indonesia Stock Exchange has 656 listed firms denominated in Indonesian rupiah, with 1.1 million total stock investors. The Indonesian Stock Exchange is currently housed in the IDX building in Sudermans Central Business District. Some indices on the exchange reflect compliance with Sharia law. Indonesia's economy is the largest in Southeast Asia and one of the largest developing market economies. Indonesia is categorized as a recently industrialized nation since it is an upper middle income country and a member of the G20. It is the world's 15th biggest economy by nominal GDP and the 7th largest by GDP. Indonesia's internet economy is anticipated to reach 130 billion US dollars by 2025 up from 40 billion US dollars in 2019. Indonesia's economy is reliant on the domestic market, government expenditure and state-owned companies. The central government owns 141 enterprises. In Indonesia's market economy, the management of pricing for a variety of essential products including rice and electricity, is also subject to government intervention. Individual Indonesians and foreign corporations have, nevertheless, dominated the majority of the economy since the 1990s. Following the Asian financial crisis of 1997, the government acquired a large percentage of private sector assets by purchasing non-performing bank loans and company assets through the debt restructuring process and the firms in custody were eventually sold for privatization many years later. Since 1999 the economy has rebounded and growth has recently increased to around 4 to 6%. Indonesia surpassed India as the second fastest growing G20 economy in 2012, after only China. Since then, the yearly growth rate has been hovering around 5%. However, owing to the COVID-19 pandemic, Indonesia had a recession in 2020, with economic growth falling to minus 2.07%, the lowest since the 1997 crisis. Agriculture is a crucial sector, accounting for 14.43% of GDP. Agriculture currently occupies roughly 30% of the land area and employs approximately 49 million people. In 2017, the country manufactured almost 1.2 million automobiles, placing it as the world's 18th largest producer. Indonesian automotive firms may now build automobiles with a significant percentage of local material, 80 to 90 percent. Indonesia has 50 million small enterprises with web usage increasing by 48 percent in 2010. Before the end of 2012, Google stated that it will create a local office in Indonesia. 
Internet-related activity contributed to 1.6% of GDP, according to Deloitte. It is larger than exports of electronics and electrical equipment and liquefied natural gas, which account for 1.51% and 1.45% of total exports, respectively. The US Trade Representatives opted not to categorise Indonesia as a developing nation in 2019 since its participation in world trade only topped 0.5%. Indonesia has the greatest anticipated growth rate of high net worth people among the 10 largest Asian economies, according to Asia Wealth Report. According to Knight Frank's 2015 Wealth Report, there were 24 people with a net worth of more than $1 billion in 2014. The majority of them lived in Jakarta, with the rest dispersed throughout Indonesia's major cities. There are 192 center millionaires, those with more than $100 million in wealth, and 650 high net worth people, those with more than $30 million in wealth. Unless covered by a tax treaty, the sale of listed shares owned by a foreign shareholder in an Indonesian business is subject to a final tax of 5% of gross proceeds. Equity research can be done with the Statistics Indonesia website. First, with more than 100 regions covered, you can learn more with the Exotic Markets book available on Amazon. Second, you can explore sector and industry intelligence for different countries by going to pervasives.com. If you have an issue in relation to accounting and tax with foreign stocks, you can contact us by going to our website.